A pilot on board the cargo ship that knocked down Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge had radioed for tugboat help, then reported a loss of power on the vessel minutes before plowing into a bridge pylon. That was the ship's first indication of distress to harbor officials, according to federal safety authorities on Wednesday. They were citing audio retrieved from the ship's black box data recorder after boarding the crashed freighter for investigations. National Transport Safety Board Chief Jennifer Homendy said recorder data was, quote, consistent with a power outage, but that an actual failure had yet to be confirmed. The recorder also picked up commands to the crew to drop anchor, presumably aimed at slowing the vessel. Homendy said the ship's two pilots would be interviewed the next day and that the probe into the cause of the accident could take up to two years. Meanwhile, divers recovered the remains of two of the six missing road workers who fell in the harbor as the bridge went down and are presumed dead. Maryland State Police Colonel Roland Butler said the two bodies were found in a pickup truck about 25 feet underwater. He said the dive team had suspended efforts to retrieve the other bodies because they were encased in the collapsed bridge structure. And the sonar simply said that they could not get to that area because it was fully encased in the superstructure. Now, once that salvage effort takes place and that superstructure is removed, those same divers are going to go back out there and bring those people closure. Authorities said they're working on a replacement bridge now, with Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott stressing the importance of taking the correct steps forwards. We will reopen the channel as quickly as possible, but it's, it's just important that it's done the right way. We also, well this is me, I'm also asking for folks to have a little bit of decency and respect. Uh, don't spread misinformation, don't play bridge engineer online or in the media, remember that these are people's family members who lost their lives simply trying to make transit better for the rest of us. There are now worries about the economic fallout, with officials saying about 8,000 jobs are directly associated with port operations.
I need one of you guys on the south side, one of you guys on the north side, hold all traffic on the key bridge. Uh, there's a ship approaching that just lost their steering. So until you get that under control, we got to stop all traffic. Yeah, we're all, I'm in route to the south side. I just about to start. I mean, uh, I'm holding traffic now. I was dragging, but we stopped prior to the bridge, so I'll have all out, out of the traffic stopped. Ten four. Is there a crew work on the bridge right now? Two nine one to do that. Good. So let me stop traffic on their site right now. Yeah, if we can stop traffic, just make sure no one's on the bridge right now. Uh, I'm not sure where. It, uh, if there's a crew up there. You might want to notify whoever the foreman is, see if we can get them off the bridge temporarily. Ten four. Once the other unit gets here, I'll ride up on the bridge. I have all inner loop traffic stopped at this time. Once you get here, I'll go grab the uh, workers on the key bridge and then stop the outer loop. C-13 dispatch. The whole bridge just fell down. Start. Start is whoever, everybody. The whole bridge just collapsed. Simple dispatch is direct. That's correct. This time. Do we know if all traffic was stopped? I can't get to the other side, sir. The bridge is down. We're going to have to get somebody on the other side, the Anne Arundel County MSP, to get up here and stop traffic coming northbound on the T-Bridge. C-13, I'm holding all traffic northbound. They didn't give, you know, they're not giving much specifics. If you look at the video from the timeline, yeah. and I have a little live interview too. I could do that first and then I could toss to Yeah, so I think I need to be here. Yeah, 